Emmy Award-winning actor and producer Sean Hayes catapulted to fame on the groundbreaking sitcom Will & Grace. His scene-stealing portrayal of Jack McFarland made him one of Hollywood's favorite funny men. Behind the scenes, he's also a prolific producer. Sean lives in Los Angeles with his husband, music producer Scott Eisnogel. My name is Sean Patrick Hayes. Uh, I am named after nobody I know of. I'm the youngest of five kids. My family life growing up was somewhat tumultuous. I had a father who uh, wasn't present all the time. I think he left when I was like five, and because of that, obviously, uh, we don't have a relationship now. Also, I don't know anything about my father's father. I would love to know what kind of father my father had. So now, of course, I have a ton of questions about Patrick, who I believe immigrated from Ireland. How would I learn more about him? I would go to the Cook County Circuit Court archives. Great. Patrick was 48 years old in 1930. So this says occupation motorman. So he probably worked on the streetcars. I think Chicago had one of the largest streetcar systems in the country. Wow. It's a pretty good job, set wow. wages, set hours. So during the Depression, while everybody's clamoring to get food in their stomachs, my great-grandfather was working, Seem, seemed to be doing OK during that horrible time. My great-grandparents were born in Ireland. Right but all their children were born we're here. Born here. So my great-grandfather was the first immigrant of my Hayes lineage to come to the United States. Wow. Here we are. So, wow, Patrick Francis Hayes, streetcar employee. That's right. Oh, wow, there's his wife, Jenny. Then he signs it, Patrick Francis Hayes. And that's his signature. Yeah. Is this the actual ink, the actual? This is the actual document. That is amazing to me. So how do we learn more about Patrick and his life? I think you're going to have to go to Ireland. That's so cool. I'm really excited. I'll go to Ireland. Thanks, Maggie. I'm enamored with Patrick because of his drive and ambition and his want for a better life for himself and his family. Uh, that's really inspiring to me. We have found something that um, will be of interest. County Kerry, Form K. Yes. Prison, what does that say? Prison, Tralee County Kerry. Okay, so I'm anticipating my great-grandfather wasn't as great as we thought. Right there on page one. January 30 received a sentence. Mm -hmm. So three counts of assault, and this says fine, bail, or hard labor, HL. Hard labor. Yeah. So after the three months of hard labor, yes. he said, sayonara, I'm out of here, gets on a boat and goes to New York. General Register, Trolley Prison. Patrick Hayes, here it is. Mm -hmm. Does that say junior? Yes. Does that imply his father was a senior Patrick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is unbelievable. So I never knew the name of my great grandfather and now I know the name of my two times great-grandfather. What does that say? Well, that's Tarnbrook Petty Sessions. And so this will be the Petty Sessions Court. So is that courthouse still around? This particular building is, is still standing. Oh my God, can we see it? This is the courthouse. The courthouse and House of Correction. So here are the documents. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So this is Patrick Hayes, and this is Patrick Hayes Jr.? Is the defendant. Patrick Jr. Attacked Patrick Sr. That's the allegation. So my great-great-grandfather is bringing his children to court. Correct. <laughs> so I just wonder what the fighting was about. List of criminal infractions for Patrick Hayes Sr. from 1864 to 1914. Mm -hmm. If you look then again in 1888, the picture changes dramatically again. Right. Yeah, drunk and disorderly on the public street. Just over and over and over again. What made him start drinking so much? 1888, deaths registered in the district of Tarbert. Husband. So that's my great-great-grandmother. That's right. 
And this is her death certificate. That's her death certificate. Well, that just explains so much. For 10 years, seems like he was a good family man. And then his wife died in 1888, which would explain this sudden change in behavior. Maybe Patrick Sr. starts dealing with it by drinking. And that, of course, affects everything. That affects all his kids, including Patrick Jr. They were probably just as affected by their mom dying as, as he was about losing his wife. Of course. Right? Nobody probably knew how to deal with it, so they all just drank about it. What you perhaps could do is travel to Ballylongford, the area where they live. Yes. And see what sort of a town it is. Now thinking about my name, Sean Patrick Hayes, has whole new meaning. Patrick Jr. seems to be the only one who left for better reasons. He just decided, you know, it's now or never. That's exactly what I did. I, I had those same conversations in my head at 24 years old. Got my car and drove to LA. I wanted to get away from it, and Patrick Jr. did too, and I, I feel this sense of camaraderie with him. <laughs>